Hi, good morning. I am recovering from being sick for the past couple weeks. It was pretty brutal. And I am also recovering from not being motivated, from being, um, I wouldn't call it lazy, but uh, not having the extra strength after work and after uh, making dinner, after doing all the things that I need to do. I have uh, in the past year been slacking on taking care of my body, on working out, on being, um, uh, I am ready right now to um, start feeling better in my body. I have um, definitely lost some muscle mass in the past year. I've gained some weight. Um, which I don't like. <laughs> and um, I thought what better way to motivate myself um, than to do it with you and hopefully motivate you the same way. Um, I'm going to take it slow. Uh, so far in my experiences, the times that I've gone full bore, go to the gym or do things uh, like that, just like I get burnt out really quick. And that's what I, I've always loved about the trampoline, about the rebounder, about uh, my Bellicon is the, um, that I don't need to sweat. I don't need to overexert myself. I can do, do it slowly and over time. And I think with anything, that's the best way to go. So here I am. And what I decided was, um, to as I watch Netflix or after work when I'm just trying to relax, I put on the TV and um, just do small things on the Bellicon just to get my, my blood flowing, my lymph going, to feel more relaxed, to take the time to do different stretches, to do different things. And I can do it just a few minutes at a time. And then, um, and then I know as time progresses, things will get easier and I'll have, uh, I'll feel better with myself to jump back on to the trampoline and getting, getting my, um, body to feel better. So, uh, I wanted to start with, um, uh, just some short videos. I'll put out some short videos on small little things that we can do on the trampoline that will, um, that will just put some more tools in our tool bag and we'll be able to progress and hopefully I'll do some workout videos in the future and we'll put everything that we've learned together, together. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about closed chain bouncing first. This is sort of like the basis of um, what I was taught at uh, uh, the Bellicon Academy. And it is important because it just, it settles you down. Once you get on a trampoline, you want to go all over the place, but it really, it really grounds you and it, and it makes you think about your breath, about your posture, about the way things are going. So I think next one, I'll talk a little bit more about posture and then, uh, and then we'll do breathing and such. So closed chain bouncing, you're like on skis. They're straightforward. Your feet are, feet are straightforward like skis and you are um, not leaving the mat. That's the most important part. And once you do this for a little bit, you actually realize how much is moving and what is going on in your body without even leaving the mat. And it's so awesome. And so um, uh, without going <laughs> too far into this, uh, we're gonna have our feet straight, our knees slightly bent, we're gonna be on the trampoline, and we're going to watch our TV or do whatever you want to do. We'll just do this for a few minutes at a time and um, just keep revisiting it throughout the day. As you do this, you feel like, like my lungs just opened up right there. And I, I really felt it. And it was just doing this for a couple seconds. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to loosen things up and, uh, and go from there. It doesn't need to be strenuous. It doesn't need to be a full workout. And um, I wish you luck. I wish me luck. 
uh, let's do this. It's just one day at a time and uh, I'm going to get back into it and I'm going to get my body flowing and I'm going to feel better and I'm going to get out more and uh, I'll be more focused at work. I'll be more focused at home. I wish you the best and uh, let's do this.